Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share how to find the value of cos 15 degree without using a calculator. To do so, we can make use of some special angles. I'm going to first rewrite. Cos 15 degree can be written as cos 45 degree minus 30 degree. Let's expand by using trigonometric identity. So we have cos 45 degree times cos 30 degree plus sine 45 degree times sine 30 degree and now we can make use of some special triangles to help us determine the values firstly let's construct an isosceles triangle with two sides of equal length so which means that the base angle should be 45 degree 45 degree if the apex is 90 degree if they are equal length, we can name them as one unit and one unit. By using the Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is equal to square root of one square plus one square, which is equal to square root of two. If the detail is here, the hypotenuse is here, since this is longest in length. And this is opposite of this angle, so we name it as opposite, and this is adjacent. By using the trigonometric ratio, we know that cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse while sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so which means that cos 45 degree since 45 degree is here is equal to adjacent which is 1 divided by hypotenuse which is square root of 2 and for sine 45 degree 45 degree is here and we have opposite which is 1 divided by hypotenuse which is square root of 2 next let's construct an equal lateral triangle if this is equal lateral triangle which means that the angle between two sides is equal to 60 degrees since the total interior angle must be equal to 180 degree 180 degree divided by 3 we should obtain 60 degree if we cut the angle into two equal half 60 degree divided by 2 we have 30 degree and this will be 90 degree since the length are exactly the same let's say this is two units if we cut into half we should have one unit and one unit let this be theta which means that this is opposite this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse by using the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square which means that we have two square is equal to one square plus a square which means that a is equal to 2 square plus move forward to the left obtain minus 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and we can now write it here square root of 3 and recall that cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so which means that for this case cos 30 degree 30 degree is here and we should have adjacent which is square root of 3 divided by hypotenuse which is 2 and for sine 30 degree opposite which is 1 divided by hypotenuse which is 2 and this is equal to 1 times 3 3 plus 1 times 1 is 1 divided by 2 times 2 is 2 2 to rationalize the denominator we can times 2 to the denominator of course we must times exactly the same thing to the numerator so that we won't change the value at the end we can only change the form this is very important so by using law of indices 3 times 2 is equal to 3 times 2 which is equal to 6 and we plus 1 times 2 is 2 and divided by 2 times 2 times 2 which means that we have 2 times 2 square third and square cancel each other no more in other words we have two times two at the end which is equal to four and hence we're done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you